Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petruto, and today we're going to make a cutting board out of the scraps that I have lying around here in the shop. This cutting board comes from my cutting board book. There are 15 projects in this book, and I'm gonna to try to explain in detail how this is done. But if you need the book, the book is available. I have signed copies on my website. You can also get it pretty darn cheap on Amazon. These are some of the scraps that I have lying around here in the shop. All of this wood came from my hardwood dealer, KenCraft. They do sell online, check them out. So the first thing we need to do is go over the miter saw and cut everything to 20 inches long. Check it. Now that we have all our boards cut to 20 inches in length, we're going to rip them into one and a half inch strips. So now that we have all our pieces cut to 20 inches in length and one and a half inches wide, we need to randomize the pattern and then glue it up. What I forgot to mention in the previous step is you don't want to make this any wider than the width of your planer so you can plane this down. I have a 16 inch planer, but if you only have a 12 inch planer, that's perfectly fine. That's plenty of wood to make this cutting board. So now that we got one side smooth, we're gonna flip it over. All good. Just gonna clean up this edge here. I have my fence set to one and a quarter inches away from the blade. This is going to determine the thickness of the cutting board. So you could make this thinner or thicker if you want. Typically, you would do this with a cross cut sled or if you have something like the micro jig gripper that keeps the force down and against the fence, you could use this as well. So now that we have everything cut up over at the table saw, we're going to flip everything so the end grain is up, like so. And then every other one, we're going to flip this way to create this chaotic pattern. Pattern just right. We're gonna line up the edges as best we can with our fingers. And then we'll batten down the hatches. Cool, I'm gonna wipe off this glue and put one more clamp along the top. You do wanna try to keep it as level as possible because that'll save you a lot of sanding. I highly suggest instead of using a palm random orbit sander that you use a belt sander. It's a lot quicker because it takes a long time to sand end grain. If you have a drum sander, even better. Now that we have that sanded flat, we're just gonna cut it down to its final dimensions of about 13 inches by 18 inches. Now over here at the router table, you can do it by hand as well, but we're gonna route a little chamfer along there to break off that sharp edge. Throw on some mineral oil here. You will find this cutting board as well as 14 other cutting boards in my book. I have signed copies available on my website. After this, we'll screw on some rubber feet. These things sell well at craft shows. They're great for gifts, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas. I will be selling this one on eBay. There'll be a link down below, starting bid at a dollar. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make, make something.